What's the difference between the branch manager of a national builders merchant and an independent builders merchant? I was asked that question just last week by the director of a Scottish based independent. Why did he ask me? Well, for the last 13 years, Foyne Jones have been providing executive search, talent attraction, and recruit, retain recruitment services for that very sector. But going back even further, many, many moons ago, when I was just 18 years old, I began my working life on the trade counter of Builders Merchant in Fulham, London. By my mid-twenties, I was a regional sales director for London itself. So you could say I understand merchants from the inside out. But rather than rely on my opinion, I started to ask the question. I spoke to my staff, my experienced recruiters, asked them what they believed made a good national manager and what made a good independent manager. We spoke to the managers themselves, we spoke to their line managers, the directors, the head office population, HR staff, and not forgetting suppliers, companies like us that provide services and companies that provide products that the merchants sell. It's the same product and it will be sold in the national and it will be sold independent. And what did we find out? Okay, we found out that for a national, an operational style makes you more successful. Someone who can work as part of a team, works really well within a strong reporting structure and often very much focused on long-term promotion and long-term career opportunities. The larger your organisation, the more scope there is for someone to develop their career. Then with an independent, greater empowerment, that comes through very, very strongly. And then this word, entrepreneurial, a word which for me is so often overused on social media, but an entrepreneurial spirit, the ability to trade, the ability to do deals with something that we believe and others believe is really important. And I guess if you put both of them together, if you've got empowerment and you've got an entrepreneurial spirit, you're interested in running that business like it's your own business, and that's what motivates you. Now, they're the differences we found, but right now, we're looking for a manager for a Scottish-based independent in Edinburgh with a current turnover of four million pounds. With the 20 strong team, this business could easily reach five and a half, six million pound turnover. But what should we be looking for? And what is the difference between a national manager and an independent manager?